Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. This is Speak of the Joker, and today we are finishing The Whispered World, Chapter 4. I hope we're finishing. If we don't finish today, it means I've done a horrible job. But I have gotten quite used to their puzzles, so I know how they work. The puzzles are uh, click every object on every other object, and if that doesn't work, then use spot. Use fire spot. Use the new flat spot. Uh, forgot what they called it. <laughs> it's been a couple weeks. Use the five man spot. <laughs> that's that's what you do. So um, this is chapter four. So we'll be ending the game. Last time we took a sky train and we have finally made it to the castle. The whole purpose of this game, as far as I can tell, is we are to save the world. But we keep having a dream that we're destroying the world. We are destroying the world. Here we are, right straight into chapter four. We haven't done anything in chapter four. Our character has been told by an oracle that we are meant to destroy the world. And we keep moving forward against all advice that, that says we are, in fact, destroying the world. So, um... I think we're going to destroy the world. That's that's what I think is going to happen. I also think, and I predicted this all the way back in chapter one, now a month ago, that the world is some kind of like fake entity or or the world is some kind of um, some kind of facade and it actually needs to be destroyed. So that was my prediction from a long time ago. So we'll see how right I was. Uh, GameCat, thank you so much. Uh, 13 months subscribe. Welcome back. How you doing today? <clears throat> I I just signed up for the Humble Bumble. I used GameCat's referral code. Hmm. <laughs> oh, little little too warm still. Enjoying a foot of snow? Absolutely no way. Snow terrifies me. Can't stand it. <laughs> yeah. I thought there was a game on the, the Bumble this month um, that was not. So, oops. <laughs> That's okay. Um, there, I'm sure I'll get my values worth eventually. Plus there's... Um, plus there's... Uh, what do you call it? It's plus there's like the vault, all the other games that are in there. So, I'm sure it'll be worth it. You make a new Joker in my honor? Okay, good, 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 good. All right, we're getting into this game. Um, This game is hard. So I was out last week, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you saw one of my uh, Slay the Spire specials. Let's hit space bar. Okay, we love hitting space bar because it tells us where all the things are. <laughs> and it's a little bit it's a little bit of a cheat code but i just want to point out usually i like to look around and then i hit it but we're beating this game today so i might be i might be relying on spacebar a little too much but i want you to notice something you see that stick do you see that stick no neither did i look there's the shrub there's the stick those are two different objects and that my friend is why we use spacebar. <laughs> Let's look out into the abyss. Whoa! Did I mention that I suffer from severe vertigo? Oh, that's right. We have to remember what his voice sounds like. And we have to... We have to get through it. We have to get through it. Anything in the shrub? One branch is enough. Ooh, look at the Grandpa shrub. Grandpa used to rhapsodize about the beautiful landscape surrounding Corona. This little shrub seems to be all that's left of it. I'm guessing the the gate's locked, but so that's why I'm spending some time with the shrub. And now we're going to try to talk to the shrub. There are no berries growing here. The whole terrain seems to support no life at all. Hard to believe it was any different not so long ago. Well, so remember the mouth icon is not just talk, it's also eat. So it really means we tried to mouth the shrub. Okay, there's nothing we can do with the train, but let's just confirm. 
That was a really impressive ride. I still can't believe we arrived safely. Hmm. Well, I remember the end of chapter three. I was just getting very frustrated. <laughs> and look at the castle. Corona. Finally, I have arrived. The only thing now is to find a way in. Inside our friend's spot is the Whispering Stone, which apparently contains a whole bunch of power, which is probably what's going to destroy this world. Okay, let's knock on the gate. See what happens. Mm, no lock, no handle, no inbuilt mechanism. I've managed to open quite a few doors. But this is the mother of all doors. What on earth should I do? Okay, we have our new spot, which um, I forgot what they called it, but the flat spot. We used him like 10 times to on the locomotive. So I'm guessing we're going to use him again. You? We're almost there, Spot. Almost there. No, that wasn't it. Oh, okay. I got to say I'm sur I'm actually really surprised. Oh, there we go. Gap. I didn't even see that hey, gap. Spot, can you help me open the gate? Yeah. Yeah, he can. Oh, that's the wrong coffee. I have no idea. Who knows what awaits you in there? One thing's for sure, <sighs> though. It won't be easy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and, hey, Spot, if you manage to do it, I'll take back some of the things I said about you. Good luck, buddy. Oh, we're full on controlling Spot in here? The messenger guy isn't dead. We thought he was dead. Um, let's go back to normal spot just for walking around. Um, spot can't interact with the wheel, can he? Oh, let's see. What you got, spot? <laughs> no. Uh, can big, big spot? No. Five wheel spot? No. Okay. All right, we've got a well, we've got a messenger. Um, we've got we've got a room. Do we burn this hay like we burned all the other hay? No, there's no access to the hay, but there is a cow. Seesaw. Do we have a seesaw puzzle coming up? Is that a crack in the wall? How do we open this gate as Spot? Spot can't, like, do anything. If he could get up here, then he could jump down on it. Huh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm a little... A little unsure. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to be jumping on that seesaw and, and launching that rock. <laughs> do we just do we just finish this rest of the game in spot? That's it. We use the rest of this game as spot. All right, time time to start using seesaw, not seesaw. Spacebar. Wow. Tuft of grass. Tuft of grass. I mean, we need to launch ourselves up here. Tuft of grass. Okay, so the only interactables are how messenger Hello, tuft of grass you you'd better find yourself a place to hide things mm. could soon get very unpleasant around here and Cisa, why can things get unpleasant yes. around here <laughs> good boy trouble follows this guy uh, that's enough now shoo <sighs> shoo leave me alone shoo 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 one more shoo. all right 
Um, yeah, there's only three interactables. How do we, do we, wow. <laughs> this game is in windowed mode, which is because it's this like four by three ratio, which is, anyways, that's why it doesn't quite fit the screen and I have my tavern as the background. But I just was like trying to click on this door and I opened up steam <laughs> in the background. Okay, space bar, no. Okay, so we, let's say we excite the cow and the cow runs and accidentally opens the gate. Do we burn the cow? I don't want to burn the cow, but maybe we burn the cow. No. Do we burn the tuft of grass? The only other interactable? We do, okay. Hmm, <laughs> a mouse hole. Um, yeah, squeeze in the mouse hole. There we go. That is not what I was expecting, but if we're gonna jump on the seesaw, let's be big about it. Nice. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but that's not what I was expecting. It's a timing puzzle. It's a timing puzzle. Um, that rock went way up there. Um, it's a timing puzzle. I thought the rock. I thought the rock was gonna fall and hit him on the head, and then he was gonna like run through the gate. Okay. So my first instinct, we're just testing now. My first instinct was you got to be this spot to actually do something. Oh, I, I would just, I didn't let it go. Okay. What is the purpose of this? So we have X number of seconds to turn into something lighter that will like launch us. There we go. Hey, there we go. What can we do from up here? Jump on the cow? If we're gonna jump on the cow. Are you ready for this guy's voice again? Yeah, you know, right now we're playing spot. I think this is the first time in the game that we've been, we've been spot and it's kind of nice. Okay, so that was not the solution. But we can launch ourselves. <clears throat> so the question is, what do we want to launch ourselves as? We figured this out. We're going to launch ourselves, this is my plan here, as the leaf. And we're going to float all the way to the up uh, upper part of the mechanism. Wait, where'd I go? Did that work? Where am I? Oh, oh, I'm on the roof. Oh, geez, I missed that. Also, welcome to the show, Fry Guy. Oh, coffee time. Rain drain. All right. I mean, at this point, I'm I, I'm solving the puzzles, but I have no idea why. Now we're gonna turn into big spot and explode this barrel. Okay. Ah, now look at this mess. I'm completely soaked. Just wait, you little monster. Is he gonna open the gate? My original plan was knock the rock on his head and have him open the gate. Socks. We have things to steal. Pantaloons. Leave my rags alone. Okay. 
We got him to go in here. What did that accomplish? Shoo! Shut off! You've done enough harm already. Oh, well, we can get to the roof, right? And now there's a reason to get to the roof. Okay, um... We know how to get to the roof. What is the purpose of being on the roof? <laughs> oh boy, excuse me, don't know. Oh boy, forgot to take my allergy pill. Just... Just remembered. Okay, we're gonna get on the roof, we're gonna turn into the balls, and then we're gonna drop into his... box? Are we going to drop into his socks right now? <laughs> oh, oh, we instantly dropped into his socks. Um, we could burn them. Why do we want to be in his socks? Why do we want to be in his socks? I don't think we want to burn them. Ah. Uh. I don't think we want to burn them. I don't know. Let's be big spot. Okay. Huh. Okay, maybe not big spot. What's what's normal spot do in this situation? I don't want to be fire spot because I don't want to burn it, but... Alright, we're going to be fire spot. See what happens. Okay, we have... We have not burned it, but we have warmed it up. It's a warm sock. Now, a warm sock is nice. Ah. <sighs> What do we do with the warm sock? Brush out of the dryer sock? Ooh, absolutely. That sounds nice, actually, right now. My feetsies are a little cold. But they're down here where my computer is, so they'll warm up. Um. Wait, so, like, why can't we click on anything? <laughs> huh. I gotta say, I kind of thought Fire Spot would, uh... Kind of thought that would be the end of this sock. Huh. Uh, really thought fire spot would be, uh... Would be the way to go. So far, this has been the only one that kind of has done anything. Now fire? What? What is happening right now? Do we need to launch ourselves like onto the cow? No, that doesn't make sense. Like what if we go what if we turn into leaf spot? Yeah, that's the yeah, it's the cow. We can't interact with them though. I don't know about that sound. The way this is acting, I thought like I thought we'd, like, launch ourselves with, like, leaf spot, but here, let's try the balls. Okay. I saw a basket, so that makes some kind of sense. Oh, we're making a saddle. Are we making a saddle? We're making a saddle. This looks like a saddle, and then the cow is going to, like, run through it and then open the gate. This whole time, all we want to do is open the gate. <laughs> okay. <sighs> How do we... Oh, gotcha. Hot air balloon. Not a saddle. Hot air balloon. Well, you don't see things like that every day. Adventure games. <laughs> And now we change into big spot and we jump on the wheel. 
The first thing I said is Big Spot could jump on the wheel. Well done, Spot. You really did it. I suppose it wasn't all that hard, but I'm proud of you all the same. Rude, Sadwick. Rude. Okay, before we go in, is there anything else? Hey! That's why you hit spacebar. The pantaloons are out here somehow. I can't see that. With the way the color is, I can't see that. No space bar, no pantaloons. Whew. All right. Do we burn this shrub I also? Take spot for a walk after the world has ended. Okay. Thanks. Uh, hello. 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 Heavens, it's all deserted here. Where could the king be? Is it me you're looking for? I thought the saddle idea was pretty good, but the hot air balloon. That was solid. Open it. The door doesn't have a lock. Only this defective door knocker. As long as the door knocker is incomplete, I can't knock on the door. Oh, okay. All right. I love I love the adventure game logic. <laughs> There's no way to knock on this door with a broken knocker. Okay. All right, he doesn't have a hand. Can Spot knock on it? Actually, is that actually just the... I didn't think so. Whatever. <laughs> wow, look at those door knockers. Um, okay, so one of our puzzles will be to fix the knocker. Fine. All right, let's go talk Sadwick? to Bobby. What are Bobby. you doing here? What do you think? I'm doing your job. Saving the world. And so on. Oh dear, Sadwick, it's way too late for that. Yeah, whatever. You may as well rescind your responsibility. I will at least try, if you don't mind. If the world really has to end, at least it won't be my fault. You foolish plucky clown. Whatever have I drawn you into? You'd better hide. Quick. What? Why? What's going on anyway? The end is near. The Askiel are attacking. I know. I've just escaped from their hideout. You've been inside the Askiel's fortress? And yeah. you're still alive? It wasn't so bad. You can call it living. Oh, I don't know if you can call it living. Man. Poor Sadwick. Let me turn that game volume down a little bit. The audio is always really loud. Um, I've got the Whispering Stone. We'll Where come back to that. King? He locked himself in his chambers. In order to get there, you'll have to go from the throne room through the Astrolab. I'm afraid he's not well at all. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'll have to solve a series of puzzles to get there? No problem. I'm not making any progress. Can't you help me somehow? Oh, sad oops. Week, sad week, sad week. I don't need this one yet. Do all the right. My lack of self-reliance must be a terrible burden on you. Oh, forget it, little friend. Oof. I taught you everything a Chasky has to know. You'll get by without me. Okay, that was annoying. You're hiding in a barrel? Is that how a Chasky behaves? Don't let your eyes fool you. This here mm. is a Chasky survival oh. barrel. The legendary Chasky, Shoshi. Once traversed the mighty Drummel Falls in one of these. At a safe distance from the falls, I presume. Why, of course. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Like the old Niagara Falls down a barrel thing. Okay, let's do this one. We could still prevent it. I've got the Whispering mm. Stone, remember? You still have it? I mean, <laughs> of course you do. I've been planning this right from the beginning, which makes it all the more tragic that you're too late. <sighs> but don't be sad. I knew it was a risk involving an amateur. Right. Your plan was great, but it was me who dawdled too long, wasn't it? Don't be hard on yourself. I'm proud of you nonetheless. After all, you're not a chasky like me. How did the attacking army get here? I had to ride a sky train that like doesn't is not in service anymore. That's rather confusing. I don't know what to say. All right, what's wrong with the king? What's wrong with the king? Nobody oh, knows king, for brother. sure. Perhaps the impending doom is eating him. Only one thing is certain: he is very weak. So weak. I bet I'll be sorry I asked, but 
How did you get here? Ah, yes. That's a long and thrilling story. Ah. Uh... Now, where shall I stop? <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is a long story. Okay. What happened at the shore? The shore? Oh, yes. I remember. Like it was yesterday. It was yesterday. I'd been sitting there alone for quite some time, practicing a secret chasky technique. Micro sleep. I can do it under three seconds if my stomach's empty. Ooh, micro sleep. Nice. A cloud suddenly appeared in the sky. A gust of wind blew up strongly, and I began to shiver. I drew my knife and took out a couple of bombs that I still had in my backpack, just in case. Yeah. I was all prepared. When I heard a cracking sound from the underbrush, I tensed every muscle, and then... And then... Then I dropped everything, grabbed the backpack, and ran as fast as I could. What? When I turned around, I saw only a fox, but I had already left my hiding place. I was sure the Ozgil had seen me. That's why I never turned back. It was simply too dangerous. Too dangerous? Too... Dang, I Skip. thought you had got <laughs> Skip. Never. I'm too clever for that. You must mean gutless. I can't believe it. I traveled half of the world after you just because you were scared of a- It was Skip. a very big fox. Ah. I don't really like when my character's yelling. <laughs> it's way too loud. But also, like... Yeah, he ran away. We clocked him as a coward when we first met him. Like, I don't know. Sedwick's Sedwick's not the brightest. So he didn't escape the Asgill because he didn't get captured by them. How'd he get here? How did you get back to Corona? On secret Chasky Trail. Let me guess. You vanished in the thin air and the wind blew you here? No, I had my hearthstone still set on the courtyard. I didn't hear that. What? Did I say anything? Is that... Is that a wow joke? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it's a wow joke, yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. I haven't played WoW in so long. I I played WoW since the beta, like, like I was I was an EQ guy. You literally have WoW open right now. That's so funny. I was an EverQuest guy, and when they announced EverQuest two and that your characters wouldn't port over. I was like, and then Blizzard announced WoW, and I was like, well, let me try WoW, and uh, played a Hunter. I played for 14 hours straight the first time I ever opened WoW, <laughs> which is probably a lot of people's experience. And I think I got to like level nine or something, or I don't even remember what it was now. This is many, many years ago. And I was like, well, looks like I'm not playing EverQuest anymore. See you later. You can relive the experience of classic season of Discovery. I, I did read that. A lot of people are going back for that. When they started those uh, PvP arenas, um, I never joined any guilds because I couldn't keep up with the raid schedules and stuff. But I just I just didn't like like other people like putting that kind of time and schedule on me. So I do the PvP arenas. And I had full PvP gear and all that. But I actually never really enjoyed the PvP. I played on I played on PvP servers. And uh yeah, had a max level hunter, mage, and warrior. And my hunter and warrior had pretty good gear, the mage's gear. I never never really enjoyed the mage. So yep, but I realized that uh for about a year I was having no fun in the game. Every time I logged in, it was an obligation to like keep up with my gear and my stats and go get berries and grapes and then they started to nerf all the healing items because it's like you had these like specialized healing items you could collect that would give you you know a five percent advantage of healing anyways i started nerfing all that normalizing all the pets because i had the poison pet like the special pet that you had to get at like level 12 and then level them up anyways i did all that but uh, happy to see a WoW joke in this game. Uh, when was this game originally made? Sorry, let me look at my notes. Uh, I forgot. Okay, because they, they remastered in 2012, but I think it's like from 2009, 2006? I don't know. Alright. Ignore everything I just said. <laughs> I have no idea. Alright, well that's, that's nice. I'm glad they made a WoW joke. Uh, when this was released, WoW was probably the biggest game. 
in existence. Actually, I don't even know how big it is. I'm still huge. Okay. I think I've heard enough. I know my I don't need to talk to him. Adventures are not for the faint hearted. You haven't told me everything yet. You might as well stay here. I don't want him to tell me everything. I'll go and save the world. Always adhere to <laughs> what I taught you. I actually might need him to say the things that I haven't said. Wait, is that the cow's face? Uh, I want to talk to the cow. Don't lick the cow, please. Talk to him. Hello. Oh. Is his name Moo? It looks particularly content. It doesn't seem he does. to care that the world is about to end. Ah, the life of a cow. Yeah. Where are the socks? Oh, yeah, that's right. It was all part of the contraption. No, it wasn't. I thought, the not the socks still be in here? It looks better than a stuffed grandpa cooks. Ah, the life of a cow. Okay. Oh, cord! Of course, of course there's a cord right there. Did you see the cord, everybody? How do I get to my inventory? Right click, that's right. Oh, these are not Grandpa's pantaloons. These are the messenger pants. Mm, no. Oh no, what a horrible idea. I bet that would have worked with Grandpa's pantaloons. It doesn't work with these, I'm afraid. Yeah, how silly of me to try to combine inventory items. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, well, um... Spacebar? We might actually need to talk to him, like, all the way. Yeah, those, mo those look like more like overalls, you're right. All right, just because video games is a, is a stick the rest of the knocker? No, the only thing missing is the ring of the door knocker. Okay, the ring is missing. All right, well, let's look down the well. Ah. A deep, dark shaft, much like my life. One big dark room. <laughs> oh, I can't it can't go left. Is this it? Is this This is it? Is this a castle right here? This, that's it? Courtyard and a castle? Seesaw? Can I do anything with the seesaw? I don't know that I'm ready to go into That's the castle. A waste of time. This seesaw doesn't seem to serve any purpose. Oh, Sadwick, you're so rude. See you later. Wall mosaic, shield, a tapestry, raiding throne. Let's go ahead and sit on the throne. Throne lock? No, I'm not worthy of that. What is a throne lock? Well, what have we here? A keyhole. A secret royal compartment, okay. maybe? We need a key. We need a door knocker. Dungeon! Mm -hmm. Phew. These locked doors are really getting on my nerves. Okay. Uh, this looks like it could be a puzzle. I don't know that I'm... So, what's happened so far is the other puzzles in the game, there's puzzles that you interact with and move around, and then there's puzzles where you, like, enter a mini game. You can't exit those. It auto-solves it when you exit those. And I, I really want to try to actually solve one. I can't get my fingers into the cracks. This oh! Too stubby. Can't get your fingers into the cracks? I know somebody I can get into the cracks. The, spot. the floor is quite fragile here. Huh. 
Watch where you're crawling, spot the floor. Do we break it with him? You're crawling, spot the floor. All right, that's not what I was expecting. Anyways, I'm going to say, this episode, I'm going to try to not... Oh, that is upstairs. Okay, this looked like upstairs, but it didn't give me an arrow, so I wasn't sure. Um. Anyways, uh, I want to try to actually solve the puzzles gap behind this shield. without the game messing up. To be something behind it. Oh. Okay. Mm. There really is something behind this shield. Let's see. Phew. I can't do it. Really? Okay, you spot. He'll climb behind it. Spot. Can you help and then he pops into a ball. Somehow? This is the episode of using spot. Okay. Wow. And now? And now you turn into a ball. I suspected all along a wait for it a secret, secret mechanism. mechanism okay easy easy chain grab that I chain keep my hands off it when the grate comes crashing down the chain would frazzle my palms okay I don't know use I the jam that in between I, I, I don't even really understand what's happening Okay, there we go. We got the stick. And then I remove the stick. Interesting. The counterweight for that gate over there hangs from this chain. Okay, that's the counterweight. So we use the stick. Use the tether on the stick. I don't think that'll help. I don't, like, don't tell me my ideas are ridiculous, game. Mm hmm no but did you did you see the caption said something about a ladder but he said i don't think that'll help but the caption said something about a ladder i, I only saw it real quick i don't think that'll help that's not right sorry just said it again all right whatever um tapestry so we need oh Lever. Lever is stuck. Do we use Spot on the stuck lever? I guess Spot won't learn how to use levers during the course of this adventure. <sighs> what the heck? But then, I didn't learn how to transform into a ball of fire. Still, there's a chance that might happen yet. Okay, what if I tether this to it and then That's jump off? Necessary. I can easily manipulate it with my bare hands. But you can't easily manipulate it with your bare hands. Hey, Spot, break this tile while you're up here. Is this going to work? Oh, come on. That was such a good idea. Right? Like, just throw Spot onto this and it'll break it? Maybe I need the shield. Oh. So... How do I use the lever? If it's stuck. stuck, it's stuck. How do I get it unstuck with everything I've seen so far? Hmm. Uh, all right, let's go back down to the shield and just see what see, see what's going on with the shield. Oh, I can't interact with the shield. Oh, wait a second. Is the lever stuck because I stuck the stick in it? That's why the lever stuck. I did that. Which is also why I can take the stick. That's it. I open it up and then I put the stick in it so it doesn't close. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. I messed that puzzle up. I don't want to go up yet. There's still stuff to be sold down there. Um, Do we go up? Do we go up or do we go back down and, and try the puzzles? Do, do we go up? Let's go up. Ooh, cool. Hey, you. 
Who am I talking to? Are you the oh, loyalist? I see him. I own. <laughs> He's up there. I own. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> What? Ooh, is this a language puzzle? Oh dear. Obviously, the astronomer speaks a foreign language. Astronomic or something. But he can understand what I'm saying. So it's not aphasia. <laughs> um... I own, which is I am, maybe. Okay, well, looks like we've got lots of puzzles in here. We've got a blackboard, we got a telescope, we've got something down here, we've got books. Ooh, lots to do in this room. Okay, let's get started. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay, Pithy, how are you doing today? I didn't sleep very well, May I didn't I sleep very much. A question? Pithy is actually redeemed. Mr. Rogers' quote of the day. Let's go ahead and redeem that while we're in the middle of all these puzzles. You and Evo didn't sleep very well, it seems. I know, I missed Evo. He was off the off the air before I started. I uh, just missed him. You know, some it's like... When you when you get into your forties, I don't know how old you are, Pithy, but when you get into your forties, it's just like everything gets harder, <laughs> including just sleeping. <laughs> okay, Pithy has redeemed Mister Rogers' quote of the day: Whether a person is speaking or playing or dancing, building or singing or painting, if we care, we can listen. We can listen. There you go. Simple, simple, straightforward quote. Person is speaking or playing, dancing, building, singing, or painting. If we care, we can listen. Yeah, you know what that means? It just means being present with somebody. Let's look at this blackboard. May I ask a question? <laughs> This is probably not a language puzzle. This is probably a puzzle in here, but um, it'd be pretty cool if it was a language puzzle. I recently played a demo from the game uh, Chance of Centaur or something. Um, really cool game. I'm going to get that as soon as it's on sale. <laughs> All right, let's look through the telescope. I'm guessing the puzzles are going to have to do with yeah, these down expensive. here. That's all you got? May I ask a question? Oh, okay. I can't interact with anything in here. No, skip, skip, skip. I can't I can't interact with anything until we solve his situation. Can I get this to stop? <laughs> oh, crank. That's quite impressive. I have to admit, I'm deeply daunted. Get that crank. I haven't hit spacebar yet because I'm not even thinking about leaving. I'm still finding stuff on my own. And a key. Like, you know, I like to try to find things on my own. But you have to hit spacebar in this game because in the very first chapter, I got so stuck. Have you watched the TV show Fargo? I saw the first three episodes of the first, like, season and I thought it was really good, but it's a little too intense for me. I'm, I'm just, I just don't do intense. <laughs> I do lighthearted. I feel like this is going to sound so stupid, but I'm just going to say it because it's true. I need my TV and movies just to be like chill or like silly or fun or like maybe an adventure. But when they're like about you know, people dying and, like, thrillers. It's a little too much for me. I can do a thriller in a movie because then it's over, but I just can't do it. There's a guy who looks a lot like you. 
Oh no, I should check. Okay, I'll check. I'll check at the break. That's interesting. Okay. Nothing to collect here. The well has dried out. Okay, so we can't actually... This is a puzzle that we can't access yet. That's quite impressive. I have to admit, I'm deeply... Okay, so maybe we do the... We got a crank and a key. The crank seems to belong to the planetary system. I thought I'd have to find the appropriate place first. I'm... I'm on... I'm on the planetary system. He's the husband of the main character? Okay, I'll check it out. Cog wheels! I think I know where the crank goes. Probably in the cog wheels. I'd rather not. If I jam the crank between the cog wheels, I might break the whole thing. Uh, well... You'd rather not? Now all of a sudden you're concerned? The gearbox seems to be alright. I'd better not mess with that. You know... Ooh. Oh, the a door knocker. A rapper. Rap, rap, rapping at my chamber door. Now we have something to fix. The other thing. How's this work? Oh dear, it's all mixed up. <sighs> all right, go for it. What? I have a hand icon. Uh, you don't see this? Do you see this little hand icon? I don't have that very often. It's he's a rap rap rapper rapping at my chamber door. A to G, Z to H to N. Encyclopedia books, yeah. But I can't take them, I can only rearrange them. So let's arrange them alphabetically, I guess. Oh god, you know, the. <laughs> little does this game know that I struggle with alphabetical order. Okay. A, B, C, D, D. You put a link in the Discord? Ah, oh, thank you. G, H. Okay, all right, all right, I got this. I was kind of expecting it to like chunk, like unlock or something, right? This is this is the order, right? A to G, H to N, O to U, V to Z. Yes, that is the order. That is in fact correct. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Okay, spacebar. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff to click on. Moon ornament? I clicked on this stuff, but I didn't click on the moon ornament. Oh. Okay. This is why you hit spacebar. Well, I clicked on that. Cogwheels. Grease tube! I, I missed the grease tube! You use it by putting something in there. Oh, 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 that greases it. Um, hey, Spot, you want to get in that grease tube? May I ask a question? No, get in that grease tube, Spot. What do you say? I don't know. Uh, the fabric of space and time. Hold it, hold it. Um, why don't you start He's talking. the beginning? Who are you anyway? I am the royalist. Oh, the books? Oh, the oh the books. Hire a couple of soldiers. Where's the rest of the staff? Okay. They fled. So what are you still doing here? What do you think? I'm keeping my calm. If the world is ending anyway, it makes no difference where I am, does it? But if a hero happens to show up to save the world, he might need help. So you know what to do? In theory, yes. But before you get your hopes up too high, our chances are slim. So rearranging the books rearranges his his language. Okay, before we talk to him, can we like grease this? Because the squeaking is actually really driving me nuts. <laughs> ah. I think so. Why are you still go on? Go. Okay. We're going to go back to space bar because I want to make sure I actually collect everything. Chalk. Hello. We didn't see chalk. Oh, my balls. Sorry. 
We did not see Chuck. Alright. Just wanted to get every item before I even talk to him. Yeah, it's, um... It's like... Is the thing with letter order something to do with dyslexia? I, I assume so. <laughs> just, just for fun. Just for funsies. What if I only mess it up a little? Oh, is it not going to let me do it again? Skip, skip, skip. The planets keep getting bigger and smaller again after Ponytooth. Silentia oh, is the second planet. They're the talking planet. about the solar system. The second smallest, Frobble, is often shaded by the second largest planet, which is one position nearer to the sun. Uh huh. Okay. So I so once you arrange the books correctly, then you can't unarrange them. Okay. That's funny. That sounded like an or- Oh! You're right. You're, you're right, Fry Guy. That sounded like a clue. That did sound like a clue. And we write down clues. Here's a volume about astronomy. Let's see. Ernicus is bigger than Frubble, but smaller than Avrius. The planet in the middle is called Ponytooth. It's the biggest of the five planets. Looking from the sun, the planets keep getting bigger and smaller again after Ponytooth. Silentia is the second planet in the system. But it's not the second smallest. Frobble is often shaded by the second largest planet, which is one position nearer to the sun. Uh -huh. Oh my god, that's way too fast. I wrote Ponytooth bigger. That's, that's the only note I got. Um... That all sounds important, but it also is, like, way too fast. This is definitely... This is definitely important. And it's one of those logic puzzles, because they did this in Chapter 2, where, like, the order of things mattered. But at the same time, that was way too fast! Here's a volume about Here we go. Astronomy. Let's see. Ernicus is bigger than Frubble, but smaller than Avrius. Ernicus... It's called Pony Probble. It's the biggest of the five planets. It's too fast. The, sun, the planets keep getting bigger and smaller again after Ponytooth. Silentia is the second planet in the system. But it's not the second smallest. Frobble is often shaded by the second largest planet, which is one position nearer to the sun. Uh -huh. It's too fast. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm going to have to play this like 20 times. I'm sorry, because I get one thing each time. It's not that hard of a logic puzzle, and I'm actually usually pretty decent at these, um, <laughs> unlike other puzzles, but it's too fast. Here's a volume about astronomy. Okay. Let's see. Ernicus is bigger than Frubble, but smaller than Avrius. The planet Avrius. The middle is called Ponytooth. It's the biggest of the five planets. Bigger. Looking from the sun, the smaller. planets keep getting bigger and smaller again after Ponytooth. Silentia is the second planet in the system. But it's not the second smallest. Frobble is often shaded by the second largest planet, which is one position nearer to the sun. Uh-huh. Whoa. Frobble is shaded by the second planet, which is one position nearer to the sun, which means Frobble is third. That's a very weird way of saying Frobble is third. Frobble is third to the sun. And it is smaller than Vernicus. Okay, Fry Guy. So far, we've got the same notes. Or we're playing it again. Sorry, everybody. Can I just like get this like in transcript form? I bet I could just Google this. I don't want to. Alright, we're gonna do it again. Here's a volume about astronomy. Let's see. Vernicus? It's bigger, bigger than, than Frobble, smaller than Avrius. The planet in the middle is called Ponytooth. Ponytooth. It's the biggest of the five planets. And it's the biggest. The, sun, the planets keep getting bigger and smaller again after Ponytooth. Silentia 
is the second planet in the system. Silentia's second planet. The second smallest, Frobble, is often shaded by the second largest planet, which is one position nearer to the sun. Uh-huh. Okay, Silentia is the second planet, but it's not the second smallest. Vernicus is smaller than... It's not the second smallest. It also doesn't mean it's the third smallest. Okay, all right. So we have two things. Order, position from the sun, position from the sun, and size. Right? Okay, so we have the sun. The, the planet closest to... The planet closest to the sun is not Frobble. Pornatus is in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. There's five planets, right? Are there five planets? Okay. I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw a diagram. We're gonna we're gonna put the sun all the way on the left of my diagram. And we're going to draw five planets. One, two, three, four, five. Check my logic here. The third is the biggest, which is Pornatus, because it's in the middle. You can have a middle if there's five. Pornatus, which is the biggest. Okay, so now we have the order in the biggest. Frobble. Oh, thank you, Fry Guy. You put the whole thing in there. It's the biggest of the five planets. Looking from the sun, the planets keep getting bigger and smaller again after Pornatus. Which is a very weird thing to say. Because it just means bigger and smaller. It's in the middle. It's called Pornatus. It's the biggest of five planets. Looking at the sun, the planets keep getting bigger and smaller again after Pornatus. Silantia is the second planet in the system, but not the second smallest. So we know Silantia. Silantia. The second biggest. Okay, just in case you're all wondering, if you can't see, Fry Guy posted the whole thing in the chat. So I'm I'm now reading it. Thank you, Fry Guy. Okay. Uh, the planets keep getting bigger and smaller again after Pornatus. Silantia is the second planet in the system, but not the second smallest. That's fine. Frobble is often shaded by the second largest planet. One position nearer to the sun. Okay, I was incorrect about my assumption of where Frobble was. So, Frobble is shaded by the second largest planet, which is one position near near the sun. So that makes Frobble is shaded by the second largest. So that means fifth. Yeah, Frobble has to be fifth because it gets smaller and larger. Frobble. And then so, um, yeah, Frobble is fifth. So then fourth is going to be the second largest. Vernicus is bigger than Frobble. So Vernic Vernicus could be fourth, but smaller than Avarice. So that means Vernicus is bigger than Frobble, but smaller than Avarice. Okay, so then, so Avarice is probably fourth, but but let's let's confirm that. Silentia is the second largest planet. Frobble is often shaded. Okay, so really the ones we know for sure right now, as we're going through this logic puzzle, is the ones we know for sure. Silentia is second. Porta, Porta, two, so I can't even read my own handwriting. Uh, they're different enough names that hopefully I won't get them mixed up. Porta, is third, and Frobble is fifth. So then we have Vernicus and Avarice to decide. Um, okay, so now reading the whole thing from the beginning, looking for that. Vernicus is bigger than Frobble, but smaller than Avarice. So if Vernicus is smaller than anything, then Vernicus can't be the fourth planet because the fourth planet is the second largest. So Vernicus being smaller than Avarice, meaning Vernicus is not fourth, Vernicus is, in fact, first. Vernicus. Because, because Frobble is after the second largest planet. So Vernicus is first, which makes, by default, Avarice fifth. I ran out of space, but I'll get it. Avarice 
And then if we go from size, so we have the order. The order is Vernicus, Silentia, Portitus, Avaris, Frobble. Uh, I literally can't read my own handwriting, so <laughs> I know you spelled it out for me, but look at my handwriting. It's so bad. Anyways, so we have the order. Now let's do the size. Porticus is number one biggest. Um, Avaris is number two because they've told us that. Second biggest. Um, Vernicus is bigger than Frobel but smaller than Avaris. So that would make Silentia is the second planet of the system, but not the second. Smallest. So that would make not the second smallest. So that actually probably makes it the smallest. So that would make this the fifth. Okay, so then uh, I'm going to write this out and then I'm going to double check it. <laughs> Sometimes it's easier to see it and then double check it. I love these kinds of puzzles. I just, it's so hard listening to it. Um, usually I'm good at listening, but it was just too much. Um, okay, so Vernicus is bigger than Frobble. So Vernicus then would be third and Frobble would be fourth. Okay. Double check this logic. Vernicus is bigger than Frobble. True. On my map, I have it third and Frobble is fourth. But smaller than Avaris. True. Avaris is second. The planet in the middle is called Portitus. True. It's in the middle. It is the biggest of the five planets. Looking from the sun, planets keep getting bigger and smaller again after Portitus. There's only two planets. Silentia is the second planet. True. But it is not the second smallest. True. I made it the fifth smallest. So the, the last smallest, not the second to the smallest. Frobble is often shaded by the second largest planet, which is one position nearer. Second largest planet is Avaris. Second, it's in fifth position. And Frobble is last. Everything I have done has checked out. And I am really annoyed at my earbuds. They are now lasting an hour. When I first got them, they would last four hours. And they are not that old. So, hey, JBL, you need to get your stuff together. We have this puzzle. I don't know what that is used for. Maybe it's used right here. But uh, now let's talk to the guy. Thank you, Fry Guy, for your assistance and uh, posting that uh, text. It would have been very difficult to do that, just repeating it over and over and over. <sighs> nice. All right, let's talk to him. Let's mouth him. There you are again. Did you accomplish anything? I actually did. Where can I find the king? You can't at the moment, I'm afraid. He's retreated to his chambers. And those are behind this door, right? That's right. But the door can only be opened when there's water in the fountain. And the fountain is broken, I bet. One could say that, yes. <laughs> you had to go through four walkthroughs just to find the text? And they all just posted the answer? Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, no, don't post the answer. Post the question. Um, I thought... Uh, I'm glad you did that, and thank you, Fry Guy, for doing that. I thought you were just furiously taking notes, and you're just a faster typer than me. You are actually a faster typer than me. I know that for a fact. But, um, yeah, I just thought you were, like, transcript. But there you go. You found it on the Internet. This is good. I was, like, about to do that because it was getting kind of annoying. All right. Uh, what's wrong with the what's king? What's wrong with the king? It doesn't look good. The king is very weak. He needs... The water of life. But the fountain has run dry, and the way to his chambers is blocked. One would have to repair the fabric of space and time. That I can do that. Both the fountain and the door working again. Unfortunately, only the king himself can do that. That sounds like a vicious circle. There is no possible solution. Like I told you, it doesn't look good. Hmm. That's hot. Work smarter, not harder? Abs harder, not absolutely. Uh, yeah, what's going on with the fountain? With the, fountain. the fabric of space and time has ripped. And by fabric of space and time, you mean... The model of the planetary system over there. It's a very powerful object. It not only drives the fountain, it also represents our planetary system. It's almost a 
perfect model. How exciting for an astronomer. Don't be fooled. Uh. Planetary movement, times of the day, cycles of the year. This model measures the very heartbeat of our world. In doing so, it reaches such a level of accuracy, you could almost say that uh. the world acts in accordance with it. One thing's for sure, mind you, they both influence each other. The world acts in accordance to the model? Yes, isn't that fascinating? No, it's terrifying. You know I mean? if, if somebody was to repair the model, the end would be prevented? In theory, yes. But only somebody of royal blood? Royal blood? Something like that. It's far too important. But the king is locked behind this door. Yes. Which won't open. You're right. Because the model of the planetary system is broken. That is the problem. Heavens. Oof. Whoever conceives these absurd mechanisms all the time. So, I mean, I'm a protagonist in an adventure game. That means I have royal blood, right? Right? I could help, couldn't I? <laughs> you don't make a fool of yourself. I am a fool. Only the king is important enough to repair the skip. model of the planet. But the king is skip, me skip, a skip, skip, the skip. There. Honestly, this is a little annoying. There are a couple of Here we go. <sighs> like always. First of all, there is no oil for lubrication. Lube it up. Without oil, it can't be cranked up. Much worse, though, is that one of the planets is missing. Oh, okay. Whispering stone. I have that. Say whispering stone? Yes. It represents our planet in the space time. Which planet is our planet? Unfortunately, it's lost. So he said this is like an accurate model. First of all, it's not accurate based on the description they already gave us. And second of all, that movement isn't how planets move. I mean, I guess, like, theoretically they could, but, like, it's, it's, I don't know. There's, he's wrong. Although we're also probably not in a real world. <laughs> All right, I don't need any more questions about the repair. I've got some bad news. That's not very uncommon these days, but never mind. Fire away. Fire away. Fire away. Um... It has been prophesied There's a lot of text. Destroy the world. And that brings you running straight to the control room of the universe? I don't want to criticize too harsh. He's right. It doesn't sound as if you've given it much thought. That's what I've been saying this whole time. My character is destined to destroy the world, and we're like, let's dive right in. The Askill are planning an attack. Oh, we'd better hurry then. Only the king can save us from the Asgill. Spot has swallowed the Whispering Stone. What are you saying? You know where the Whispering Stone is? And um, not exactly. My pet has swallowed it. Oh no. Say it's not true. We need the stone to repair the fabric of space and time. Without it, we're dead in the water. I should have fed him in time. Your lamenting doesn't help. You'd better come up with something. In the meantime, I look for my dissecting instruments. Oh, that won't be necessary. I'll find another way. I mean, he can just spit it out, right? Like Spot? He can transform into like five different shapes. I think he could do that. I'm not a hero. Do call me a hero! I'm not a hero, just an untalented clown. Oh, hmm, a clown, you say? Yeah. Not a hero, not a prince? No, just a clown, and not even a good one at that. Do you at least have a birthmark <laughs> or, or a peculiar scar? Nothing of that sort. <laughs> All right, well, that's actually kind of funny. It's really bad, then. That's what I was saying, I'm a protagonist in an adventure game. And he's like running through the birthmark? Weird scar? No, nothing. I could go on talking about Skip. It looks very bad. Skip. Alright, few more questions. How about the nice ear trumpet? What are you saying? <sighs> alright, alright. Oh, that joke's old. Okay. Alright, I'm out. I think I know what to do now. So why are you still go on, go? Okay, I don't actually know what to do, but we have we have a key. Let's use our key. <laughs> that, that, that's one thing we can do. Use our key on the box. We also can repair the door. Mm. Mm. Ah, 
Ja, uh, that, hey, there really huh? was a secret compartment in the throne. Oh boy, I can't wait to look inside. Is it a secret compartment if there's a key to it? Well, let's have a look then. Hey, what's that? Some pliers, a handsaw, and a crowbar. That's not the secret royal compartment. That's the secret royal toolbox. Awesome. Now. Raid. Cold Riseman, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Appreciate that. Okay, yeah, thank, thank you again. Um, I There's a puzzle here. Let's just confirm. We got everything out of here. You're going to get some food? That's a great idea. Definitely. I typically don't eat before my stream, so it's like as soon as I'm done streaming, I'm like, ah, oh, I need food. Um, so yeah, we just we just got a crowbar, pliers, and a handsaw, which in an adventure game is like the best possible um, series of things to get. But the way things work, the secret mechanism can be far. All right, we're gonna hit space bar. We got thrown. We got open thrown. Oh, we still have the floor mosaic, so we're going to use the crowbar. Right? Even I can manage this. Of course. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Uh, well, never mind. Who needs shoulder joints when I have a mosaic tile? Oh, we complete this puzzle. Okay, well, I was going to click on that next. Um, all right. Great. Um, okay, space bar. Space bar. Uh, let's use the crowbar on the door. I know they hinted that there's a secret mechanism, but this game is sometimes wrong. Phew. I'm too weak to break the door open. So weak. Okay, gang. It's puzzle time. I'm, uh... Oh, let's see if I can get this one without messing it up. Oh! No, this is not a puzzle. I just put this in. Oh, no, it is a puzzle. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm not good at these. Uh. Okay. Oh, they don't cross sides. Okay, that's actually good for us. That's good for us then. This this makes this puzzle way less hard. <laughs> if these don't cross sides, then then like you know, we're not gonna get Oh, uh, hopefully we're not gonna get like too hung up. Now if I accidentally hit X or if I wanna come back to this. It will auto solve the puzzle, so let's not do that. Okay, so I don't know what it's like supposed to look like at the end, but um, let's just start moving things around. This is okay. Well, these go together. Um, I know there's like a trick to these puzzles, and uh, full transparency, I'm I'm bad at them. I think you just like. Walk everything around. Okay, we we might not actually be able to solve this puzzle. Remember when I said, I want to solve the next puzzle and not have it auto-solve? Um, I might be taking that back. These go together. As someone who understands these puzzles, it is indeed frustrating. <laughs> I wouldn't say I even understand them. Oh! Am I, like, actually close? Like, this... This looks right. This is wrong. Okay. Okay, hold on. I've got some things going. No. No. Yes? Okay.
I just went in a circle, didn't I? I did. These two need to be next to each other. How do I make that happen? Uh, oof. Oh, wait. We might be auto-solving this. <laughs> I am a struggling. Oh no, I think I've messed it up. I'm so bad at this. Oh, wait, is this right? These two go together. They might not go together right here, but these two go together. Maybe they maybe they go together right here. Um, that looks nice. This this looks right. I don't know if it's right, but this looks right. All right, let me look one side at a time, one side at a time. Oh, man. <laughs> what I was just trying to do is just get this thing up here. This thing is definitely, like, in the middle. Because, look, it connects to so many things. Is it here? Okay, right. If these two go together, and then this one, this one is below this? No, that one is not below that. These two definitely go together. But then this one is above. This one is above. Nothing. Nothing has three little things that goes up. So this one's at the bottom. How could it be at the bottom? These two go together. Absolutely. That looks right. <gasps> Did you hear that? Did the game just ding like I did something right? Am I hearing things? I might be hearing things. Also, my green screen's acting weird when I lean in. <laughs> this... I thought the game dinged. It's the bells in my hat? I think you're right. I thought it was a puzzle. Because, there, I mean, there's no way this is up here. So this is this is not right. But this this feels right. This whole this whole row right here, this feels right. That's got to go there. I, I'm putting it there doesn't actually help me get it there, but that's where it's got to go. All right, we're setting ourselves a time limit for the sake of the stream because um, I kind of, I kind of see the pattern. Like I, I, I'm trying to make like a coat of arms, and I can, I can, like if I could pick it up and place it, I think I could solve this very quickly. Um, but we are, uh, a little bit on a struggle bus here. 
and uh, I'm not very good at this. Full transparency. This is this is locked in. That's that that is correct. That's locked in. We're sure about that. Just because we're sure about that doesn't help us though. We're sure about this. This needs to go here. Can we move one piece at a time? I I just I actually just really don't know how these work. I think that's the problem is I just I'm not I'm just not really like, technically skilled at these. Like, how do I get that back down there? Oh, no. How do I get, how do I get you back down there? Okay, for a second there, I thought I had this, actually. I... I, I don't want to say I was overconfident, but I was confident. I was like, oh, I have it. And then I'm, oh no, that's the wrong one. Shoot. Okay. And then you go back here. Drag it, drag it, drag and drop. Um, son of a gun. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh. All right, we're going to set a time limit. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry I'm so bad at this. Um, I will say, I will give this game a little bit of credit. It's one of the few games that actually just lets you straight up skip the puzzle. The best way to think about them is like one of those sushi boats, picking up all the tiles in a two by three circle. You need to get them in the right order. <sighs> I don't know what you're talking about, Frank. <laughs> like, I can see the pattern. Like, I now I know what I'm trying to make. Like, if I could just pick it up, this goes up here. Like, these two tiles go up here. Like, for sure. Like, that goes there. That goes there, but only if this one is there. Oh, no. It's less about getting in the right position and more about getting them adjacent ones next to each other. Okay. Okay. I mean, you see how close I am? <laughs> getting them next to each other. Next to each other. I'm like so close. <laughs> and I think typically you solve like the one by three right column tiles, then treat the top two by two and the bottom two by two as two columns of separate puzzles, leaving the right one by three alone. Mmm. Okay. 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 I get that. I get that. Okay, we're going to try this. We're going to try Fry Guy's method. Thank you so much for trying to help me out. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I know, I'm fairly confident I know what the three one by three tiles are. Okay. So ignore everything else. 
like, oh, we got this in the right place, who cares? And just do, for now, the one by three. Okay, we can do that. Um, it's, this one is here, but it doesn't matter if it's here. Do we know which piece is missing? We don't. It's in our inventory, but I can't open it because it'll crash the game. Um, but I'm, I know, I know, I know what the right side, I know where the connections are <laughs> so far because I've, I've pieced them all together individually. I've made this puzzle in five different ways. Okay, so let's get the right column. So this, uh, that goes there. Okay. Oh, I just did that backwards. That's okay. That's okay. Get you out of the way. Get you. I did that backwards. <laughs> Man, I thought I was so clever, too. I, I, I just want to solve the, the top right puzzle. I need to get this over there. We are so close. You're so close. Woo! All right. One by three on the right, solved. Okay, so in the top right, two by two, get two pieces that go next to each other. Oh, too late. No, I'm, I'm going with your first solution, Fry Guy. <laughs> now we're going to treat this two by two, and then this two by two, which they're, they're overlapping, right? Okay. Oh, shoot. Do we just have it? I think we just have it. I think that's it. I think that's it. Now we just need to mirror it. Oh, did we do it? Ah. Oh. Okay, we're halfway there, folks. We're halfway there. Oh, you know what's so weird? I've been staring at that puzzle for so long that now that I'm on this side, it's actually a little disorienting. Like, like I've actually, I clicked on it and it kind of like messed with my brain a little bit. Uh, that was a weird sensation. I know that is such a strange thing to say, but it, I'm full, full transparency. Clicking on that was a weird sensation. I mean, we've done pretty well considering I, I've always thought of myself really bad at these puzzles. So thank you, Fry Guy, for the help. I've always, I've always, like, 
I've never, I, oops, no, don't click on that. I don't think I've ever successfully done one of these puzzles. Like in any context. So the fact that I am like, oh, that wasn't it? Are we kidding? That, how is that not it? Oh. It matches perfectly, but the color Woo! doesn't match. The piece has to be blue, but not just any kind of blue. It ha, has to ha, be ha, a light ha, royal ha, blue. Ha, 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 ha. Thank you, Fry Guy. I don't think I ever would have solved that. Oh, man, I was really struggling. This is probably considered in, in the tile puzzle world a pretty easy one. But, uh, okay. Sorry, what? That wasn't even the end? It matches perfectly, but the color doesn't what? match. What? The missing piece has to be blue. Oh, okay. Not just any kind of blue. It has to be the light royal blue. Great. Quick game? Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. No, I don't want to quit. Oh, okay. Wait a second. That's not how the royal insignia is supposed to look. It's all mixed in one part. Oh, okay. All right, it's still there. I thought it mixed it back up. Okay, so we probably shouldn't have done that until we had blue paint, but there is literally no way we could have known that. So it is not solved until we have light royal blue paint. Whew. That was stressful. Definitely the second half of the puzzle is easier <laughs> once I once I understood. Now I understand how these puzzles work. How fascinating. Treat them like individual circles. And you want to get them next to each other, which makes sense because you can move things around in any kind of circle. Uh, hmm. Okay. Um, we've got, we've got a, we've got pliers, we've got a moon ornament, we've got chalk, we've got a crank and rope, uh, we have a wrapper. So we have a lot of puzzles we can solve out in the, uh, we have a lot of puzzles we can solve out in the courtyard. So let's go do that. Sometimes there's no music in this game, and sometimes there's loud music. We've got the well. Can we do anything with the well? Good thing we have a crank. We have a multi-purpose crank. Oh, let's bring in a bucket of... Is it a bucket of blue paint? Wouldn't that be nice? If the game were that easy. What's in the bucket? Oh, we just get the bucket. Okay, bucket full of water. Wow, a whole bucket of water. I guess that makes up for the blisters on my hands. Okay. And now we put the wrap, wrap, wrapper on the door. There at last. Wait, we needed to knock in order to open the door? Hey, I'm guessing this is how we make blue paint. Empty flask. I can't reach it. That's fair. That one I can. Oh, a pipe maze. Not a puzzle? Not a puzzle we can solve. The handling is quite easy. You put something in there you want to distill, then you heat the glass bulb. Put something in there you want to distill. Okay, we don't have anything yet. Let's open the chest. Absolutely, take everything in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, before we do the paint blender puzzle, which maybe we can do, maybe we can't, Let's hit spacebar. Is there anything else we missed? Yeah, uh, why can't we do the pipe maze? Oops. Oh dear, 
The pipes are all topsy-turvy. There are open tube ends everywhere from which steam emerges. But I only see two cork stoppers. I should repair that immediately. Oh, we can do the pipe maze. Uh, okay. Uh, I got this. This, this is the kind of puzzle I can do. <laughs> oh, actually, I just realized I don't know, like, okay, it's coming from here. Where's it going? Yeah, I don't actually know where it's where, where it's going. What's the final destination? Ah, see, this is a problem. If I close out, it'll auto solve the puzzle. I don't have a way to close out that doesn't solve the puzzle. So, so I need to, I need to figure this out without looking where the pipe goes. Also, is it just my brightness? These don't connect. These don't connect. Okay, so let's follow the pipe. It's got to go down here. So this is just, this is a red herring. Then it goes down here. And... Uh, we don't... Oh, never mind. None of this is involved because this is where the... Where is the final destination? All right, let me mess with this. Is this the final destination? I don't know where the final destination of this pipe is. Down here? No? Why can't I cork it? Oh, man, I thought that was the solution. Cork it, and then it goes down here. Cork. Cork. Oh! Cork. Cork. No, not there. Cork on the other side. Oh, there, wait. Oh, man, it's, it's too hard to see. I need to turn up the brightness. There. Is that it? Is it? That's it. Is that it? Okay, so if something... I don't know where it's going, but let's assume it's coming up to here. But So we'll go reverse. Boop, 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 boop. Boom, hits that cork. Come down here. Boop, 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 Hits that cork, comes down here. Is that it? Did we do it? Is the game trying to say that that's not the solution? I... Right? Isn't that the solution? How is it not the solution? <laughs> Oh, I guess technically that's... No, that's the same thing. I was going to say, this is better, but it's not better. Because the cork goes right there. It's the same thing. Or does the cork... Does the cork go into that one? Is that the problem? This has to be right. This is... This is perfect. What am I missing? Like, do I move these so they don't touch at all? Right? Follow this down. This has to be right. What am I missing? No, definitely not that. Definitely not that. Maybe I don't know because whatever I'm doing is not turned on. Man, I don't want to auto-solve a puzzle, but I feel like this is right. Oh! Oh! There we go. I can exit without solving. Okay. Okay. I think this is right. So we take fire spot. It won't produce anything as long as there are no ingredients in the glass bulb. I don't know what I'm supposed to be cooking, but so let's let's just guess for now that I solved the puzzle correctly, but it looks like we'll be able to check it. Oh, a periodic table. I Those are the five elements. Five elements. Left to right. Oh. Aphrium, Silentium, Pornitium, and From. You can tell them apart by their color. Hold on. Do that again. Those are the five elements from left to right. Vernon, Aphrium, Silentium, 
Pornitium and from. You can tell them apart by their color. Is that, is that the hint, the periodic table, the order of the planets? Is that the hint? Well, you can actually kind of see it. I don't know if we're supposed to solve it this way, but that is red, purple. Um, I don't know, brown, yellow, green. Those are those are like a, a derivative of the planet names. So maybe that's the that puzzle. I don't know. We don't have anything to put in here yet. So we can't test if we did the pipes right. The pipes look right. I we we did the pipes right. There, I think there's actually more than one solution. Yeah, I think there's more than one solution. Okay, so now we solve this, right? We need to make light blue. What's this? A color blender? Oh my, that's going to be fun. How do I actually Maybe do it? I can blend the paint to make the color from the insignia. Blue. The light royal blue. I I appreciate the like hint. So I, I do appreciate that. Maybe I can blend the blue. The light. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Why is my character like saying maybe I can do it? Do it. Maybe I can blend the blue. The light. Do it. Why is it not doing it? It's telling me that. Maybe I can blue the light royal blue. Okay. We're all on the same page. We need to make light blue paint. We're all on the same page, buddy. So let's go ahead and do that. How do I do that? Save. I don't know why, just to do it. Um, no, but seriously. Um, I'm... We all want this to happen. <laughs> Something in my inventory? I, I, I don't know. We want this to turn blue. Absolutely. Maybe I can blend the paint to make the color. And it looks like we blue. use looks like we use pluses and minuses. So yellow and purple makes brown. So we want to get rid of, you know, want to get rid of one of the colors and add another color. You know. I see the puzzle. The character is telling me this is the puzzle. I don't know how to activate the puzzle. Something with spot. I can't imagine it has anything to do with Spot. Spot can't help me here. Caterpillars are colorblind, you know. Okay, what is in my inventory that is like... Bucket? The bucket's too big. I can't get it under the tap. Do I need to put the flask under the tap? But I'm not ready yet. Maybe I can blend the paint to make the color from the blue. The yeah, I know. Oh! Okay, can I do the puzzle now? Oh, I can, and now I have a hand. Okay, well that, that was rather annoying. Okay, instant change. Um, Working backwards, how do you make blue? Well, you don't make blue. <laughs> Blue's a primary color. Do you just... Do you just go blue all the way down? Hold on, let me let me just test this. Huh. It won't let me turn that valve off. Interesting. Oh, not all of them can turn. Okay, that's 
that's something. Not all of them can turn? Yeah, this one can't turn? Okay, well, all right. So we have orange. Um... Yeah, not all of them can turn. So, with that in mind... Um... Guess no purple. White. That's not how any of this works, but this is an adventure game. Uh, okay, so then that makes that purple. Blue. That's it. Did we do it? All right. Though it's not exactly light royal blue, at least it's blue. I mean, that's definitely not how colors work. So we distill it to make it light blue? Is that? I mean, but we had the white, like. No. Like, why is this green if the only paint going into it is white? All right, whatever. We're going to grab that. And I think maybe we distill it to make Light blue? I, I don't know. The handling is quite easy. You put something in there you want to... Alright. I, I, I don't know if this is a solution, but... Paint doesn't need to be distilled. That's not it. Does the water need to be distilled? No, I can't make use of distilled water. Of course. What a dumb suggestion I just had. So we have blue paint, but not light blue paint. How do we make it light blue? I thought we would, like mix it together in this like water there's a hole in a bucket yeah, henry, yeah, henry. 